quickly like to show you how to add a barcode to the front side of your ID badge. First off, um, come over to the right and we're going to add a data field. So on the left hand side here, we're going to take a data field and we're going to put that data field in the non-printing area over here on the left. We're going to call this field uh, employee number. So we're going to label this employee number and we're going to leave it a text and we're going to say OK. And now this employee number has a field of, uh, let's go back to that and see, um, you can click on that. Um, we can see that there are 20 characters in there and that should suffice for um, what we need to do at this time. Next, come over here on the left to your uh, menu and see select barcode. Pull it up here and select your barcode. We're going to just call this here barcode 1. And we can look up here and we can see that the appearance of the barcode is going to be black with a white background. Um, we can include the text with it uh, if we like. Uh, let's put the text above the barcode and we can change the font of that. Um, we'll just leave it Arial, regular, and we'll make it uh, 9 points and say OK. And then our barcode uh, options, we want to select what kind of barcode this would be. And we can see here that there are many uh, selections of different barcodes. But for now, we're just going to leave it to be 3 of 9. The maximum length will be 100 characters. And the code string is 3 of 9, or 39. So we can click that, say OK. Whoops. Back to appearance. Edit. Here in the barcode edit uh, box, we look and see what type of data we want in our barcode. And here we show the different um, fields that are available to add into our barcode. So first off, we're going to call, we're going to make it the barcode number. So uh, employee number, excuse me. Then just say add, and it puts it over here on the right. And now the barcode uh, number or the barcode is going to read the employee number. That's what's going to be in that barcode. So then you can say OK. And we did put it above the um, uh, text above the barcode. So we can see that it says code 39. And we can stretch this out. And there is our barcode on uh, the front side of our ID badge. Um, we can adjust it in size here. It be whatever we need. And we know that it is linked to the employee number right here. Um, that that is what this is going to be. So that when you go to your data entry, um, and you're going to put a entry form for employee number. So when you type in employee number, guess what? It'll show up right here as this barcode. So if your employee number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, then that is going to show a barcode of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So whatever you want that to be. You can also have these fields. They do not need to be in non-printing entries. They can also be something if you wanted the employee number to show up right here uh, as opposed to on top of the barcode. You can have no uh, code on top of the barcode um, by selecting uh, that feature in, um, right here, include text. We can take that off and say OK. And now our text does not show above the barcode. So if you're doing this for a student ID or an employee ID that you're going to use for clocking in and out or for job tracking on certain jobs that the uh, employee may 
want to clock in and off of.